What's happening, YouTube? It's KMega405 live from the 405, where I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers out there. And I want to give a big shout out to Xbox 44A and The Don for having me on to the a special podcast that was really talking about what was going on with the new uh, Scorpio, the, the new system that Xbox is allegedly going to have coming out next year. And then all the information about regarding these, the slim and what the future looks like for Xbox in general. But first, I want to talk about No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky has been one of these games that had a lot of wow, a lot of pizzazz. The you know the game informers, the you know the media, the, just been hyping this game up glorified indie that is now supposed to be like a triple A but yet it's still an indie has been delayed yet again now there could be a number of reasons for it there was a rumor that I read something the other day that was saying that the game is still running at 14 frames per second they're still having problems with it because of how big it is etc etc problem is is that this is an indie this is not a triple-a game now this is a triple-a game and they still needed more time to do this then I would still be disappointed but in a sense it's like okay this is a big budget game and this game needs to be right and I get that but when are we going to be tired of the excuses especially PlayStation Nation you've been bragging about this game for a very long time but now that's why nobody really takes the guys that are diehard PlayStation fans when they bring up the games seriously for the fact that they're taking so long to give your quality exclusives out and we don't even know if No Man's Sky is actually a true exclusive you know but I know that competition is out there for um, what is that game Elite Dangerous Elite Dangerous is out there I heard it had a big update uh, you know you can go on the moon things like that and then they're only going to just make that game better and better they already got so many steps ahead of No Man's Sky. I understand that there might be slightly different, but still there's space exploration, so which means that if the competition is already out there, then people are going to gravitate to that game more, even though the Elite Dangerous is not on the, the PlayStation, I believe. So, still, it is a problem. It's very problematic, and I think, you know, they're hurting themselves because this game needs to be out. Maybe the PlayStation is waiting on VR, that's still a bad move. This game was advertised to us like years ago. This is something that you can't just keep throwing the same bone at people and, and think that they're going to just buy that game. Hype goes away after so long. I mean, just look at what happened with Watch Dogs. But this is not a good look, Sony. You have to bring this game out. Stop with the delays of your bigger titles. I mean, you, you can't keep delaying it and delaying. Well, I guess you can, but you know without selling software you're not going to generate the money that you want to even though you sold 40 million consoles that's still just you know anybody would tell you hardware sales is good but software sales is where it's at and if you don't have your software out to the public then how are you going to generate that money now to talk a little bit about the scorpio uh we had the podcast on xbox 448's channel so you could check that out we talked about the scorpio in full detail so um, it's basically one of those things to where I, you know, I'm just going to kind of rehash uh, the things that we talked about was about the price point. Uh, there was also talking about a slim that could be available that, that was that didn't have a disk drive and it was going to be around 150 to 200 dollars. You keep your original X1 and this new whatever this is going to be the Scorpio code name Scorpio. It it could be uh, it, it'll, it'll, they'll all play together. And this thing will be the beast. It's supposed to have the six teraflops. Don't know what the hell a teraflop is. You know, I talked to the tech guys about it. They explained to me. I still don't understand what the hell that is. There's some terminology that I don't know. And I know a lot of you just gamers don't know it either. So please stop trying to throw what a teraflop is because your ass have no idea either. And just knowing that it's going to be upgradable, which is pretty amazing to me because you can have the option to make it just as powerful as the most powerful PC if all of these things are right, the price point around $400, I think that this is a win for Microsoft by leaps and bounds. And for now, the PlayStation guys that were, and ladies, that were bringing up the 
whole power thing. Now it seems like they're trying to do a Donald Trump and change up the game and say, well, it's not about that. It's about the, it's about the games. It's never been about the power. Really? It's never been about the power, huh? That's all I heard was about 50% more power. You know, Xbox this, you know, but yet, you know, you're talking about games. Well, I just brought up the first story that I brought up was about that you having another delay for your games. It's cracking me up. It's already starting to be a roast fest. So really, for PlayStation Nation that don't, that want to talk that garbage, this one's for you. Shout out to Intro Media Gaming. We're out, baby. Peace. Yeah.